It's week two of the NFL preseason, where depth charts and playbooks will be put to the test. It's the Ravens and the Commanders on Monday Night Primetime. We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. But tonight we've got a preseason matchup as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Washington Commanders. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis, happy to be back alongside you. And I'll tell you what, yes, it's just week two of the preseason, but now they've got one game under their belts and a lot of guys trying to prove some stuff down on the field here today. Not only that, these coaches like to win. So here's Washington now in excellent field position to start things out. And they will be let out by their 6-4 quarterback. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. Touchdown, Washington! Jahan Dotson, 46 yards. And the Commanders will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Walking into the stadium, we saw a ton of people donning the jerseys of this rookie quarterback, so you know they love that opening drive, and he throws a touchdown pass. He gave a little bit of confirmation about what they had hoped, right? Because they thought they had a quarterback. They're thinking they have a quarterback. You do this, they believe they've got a quarterback. Look up elbowing each other up in the stands. That's our guy. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He threw a touchdown pass last time they had it. And they'll look to get him in the end zone again here as they start with the first down. Throwing to start the drive. Brown flushed out right. 23 yards on the tuck and run. Brandon, you know about that quarterback's protecting himself, but I have to admit it. I liked what I just saw there. That rookie wasn't afraid of absorbing a big hit. Now, you don't want to see him taking those shots all game long, but he picked up the first down, kept fighting for yards, and was willing to embrace some contact to keep the play moving. On first and 10, Brown. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So now here in the second week of the preseason, you'd expect the starters play a little bit more than they did in week one, but not a whole lot. So if you're an offensive coordinator, what are you looking for? What you're looking for is things getting cleaned up as you go along because most of your playbook's probably installed. How well are they handling it? Easy in and out of the huddle, no mental mistakes. Are they starting to look like a good offensive football team? Five yards, now it's third and five. A good throw there, and that's what you want to see from a quarterback trying to submit his spot as a starter. Now, worth pointing out, we're expecting to see this group for the first half of this game only, so they'll get a little more run than they did last week. Yeah, this is kind of the new normal, isn't it, partner? Because we've gone from four preseason games to three, so this is more like the dress rehearsal game, although there are a few teams out there that use that third game a little bit more now because there's a bigger gap from the third game to the opener. But what you want to see, one half of crisp football, a game plan in place, and guys really running through it the proper way. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that deep. Back onto the field now, the commander's offense. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Now the second-year man from Alabama, it's Brian Robinson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now, during that run, an injury here, 
We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. Now we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Looking to throw. Brown. And his throw's going to be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. And he finds McClure, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Yeah, that's a good throw right there. And our understanding is that he's probably going to play the bulk of this first half. It's only the second week of the preseason, but you can already see the connection he's got with his receivers and tight ends. And he's clearly enjoying himself so far. That throw, it picks up a first down. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. That felt like a trap, because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Back to throw, Brown. And this all incomplete. He tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked. You know, during these preseason games, we're in week two right now. It's always funny looking at our spot charts up here in the booth because with all the guys that might play in this one, it seems to get bigger and bigger each year. Yeah, we pretty much supersize them, don't we? Because, you, you know, remember, they're carrying 90 now. And with the new rules, they'll carry 90 all the way through the preseason before they make the final cut. Oh, yeah, a lot of guys to learn for these games. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Now Brown on first and 10, escaping the pressure right. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. Let's go now. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Robinson up the middle, and he'll be taken down at the 34. Justin Matabike there to bring him down. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Brown looking to throw on second down. There's a quick slant, and he's got Terry McCoy. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 24-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Here's Brown, throwing on first down. Looking for McClure, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Commanders go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He had the touchdown pass on the last drive, his second of this first half, as he'll try again on first down here. Hey! 
They begin the drive with Robinson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Brown now to throw on second down. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Excellent play there on third down, give him 25 yards. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Hand off now to Robinson. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. That's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. From the 35, here's a second down and nine. Looking to throw. Brown winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And that's caught at the 25. Touchdown, Washington! Curtis Samuel, 65 yards. And the Commanders have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Well, partner, I mean, if anybody was still questioning whether or not he had an NFL caliber arm, I think you can toss that right out the window. That was a heck of a throw right there. I would agree totally. Question it no more. This rookie... Big time throw right there. Great poise, stepped up, trusted he could lay it in there perfectly, and he knew that his guy was going to make the catch on the other end. Nice collaboration. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the touchdown pass on the last drive, his third already in this first half, as he'll try again with a first down. Throwing to start the drive. Brown, that one is slants in the corner. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now, we'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. Throwing on first down. Brown forced out to his left. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. No shortage of impressive moments for him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and helped force the incompletion. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Operating from the gun, Brown. 
And that is incomplete. Moving, but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. in prime time this offense they gave the nation quite a show putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them and brandon i think it's as simple as this some players some teams they're just meant for the big stage and when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly they show up and they show out <laughs>